Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will model over current relay step by step. So before start this video, it's a kind request to you. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just press the subscribe button. Let us get started. First of all, place the components. Go to library browser and first of all, pick three phase source. Just, just type here three phase source and click enter. You will find your three phase source, right? Here it is. Now after that, search for three phase circuit breaker. Here it is. Right click and place this one. Okay. After that, write down and search for VI. Click this one and place this. Okay. Now after that, type load. What kind of load does I need? I need three phase RLC load. RLC three phase load. And I pick this one and just rotate this. Press Ctrl R three times, it will be rotated. For generation of fault, write down three phase fault. Click enter, you will find this one. Here it is. Click below this and for fault to generate just write down stair here it is place it here okay after that write down for D max here it is place it here okay and write down Scope here, pick and place here. Okay, double click on this scope, go to view configuration properties, make it three, and the layout should be three parallel lines. Similarly, press this demux and make it three. Connect this with this one so that I can generate another copy for the current. Just press Ctrl C and paste it here, Ctrl V, right? Okay. Now just quickly connect this one. I am doing with a... Just connect all these lines accordingly. Oh shit. Now I will connect my load to the VI measurement block. All done. Now just double change some parameters. Before that, just connect load with this scope voltage and current with this one. Okay, all done. Now double click on this. Just change the frequency to 50. Double click on circuit breaker. Make it close and take the external fault. Similarly, double click on this but do not change anything in this block. Double check on this and just take it. External fault, click OK and just connect this stair generator with the 3 phase fault. All you need to change this some parameter 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.35. And before to simulate this, I will make no no fault in my system keep the amplitude zero for the all these three phases click ok ok now my system is done no now, now let's design its logic so for that go to library browser and just write down root me square block here it is just take this right click on this and play ok just okay. Copy this and place it three times. Okay, all done. Just copy this DC box, control C, control V and place it here. Make its size larger. Connect with each one. Take the Remux 
input from the current value okay after take go to the relational op operator for that go to the logic operator and pick this uh, relational block okay double click on this and make it greater than click ok and copy this and paste it two times ok connect the upper input with the RMS block for the three blocks ok all done now let's take a constant value that is constant or you can go to the sources and pick the constant value from here just connect with all these three relations blocks and give it a value for example I keep it to this is my pickup value below above which my relay will operate okay after that go to the same uh, library browser and type for sr flip flop right click I mean, it will take some time because the system is very slow and it depends on your uh, speed up computer okay. it's done copy it twice paste and again paste down here okay connect the S with the relational operator copy this constant block paste here and connect with all these SR uh, R block okay all done click this value I want the initial state to be zero okay now again go to the lib uh, library browser and type terminator take this one because I do not want to use the lower part Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. Connect this one. Okay. Now again, go to the library browser, logic operator, and pick the logic block. Increase its size. Double click on it and make the number of inputs three. Click OK. A bit increase the size further. Okay. Now connect the queue. okay now go to the data conversion type I will write down data uh, let me take its data space type okay just click ok here pick this one I will explain this now the in the output of this logic gate any AND gate is in boolean form so convert this to the uh, you know double or any other data type you want okay now take this line and connect it with the your relay okay just uh, press ctrl a and right click on this go to format and go to the block names to, con to show all the block names okay now just double click on this and make it boolean okay okay do not change for the moment this just change this one and give it a value of boolean click ok now all done now just put power jv block Oh, I press the help command so it will open me help one right click place place it here now double click on this go to the discrete and keep this value as it is press ctrl s ok all done now I will just make it some below this one and I will just take it a bit up okay right down so how you will make subsystem of this 
select the area you want to make a subsystem with and press the control G so a subsystem will be created just press control R to rotate this okay this is my subsystem block if you want you can see this by clicking double click on it okay I have sim I'm done with my circuit now just simulate this and I will simulate this for for example 0 0.9 seconds or 96 seconds click ok or run it should run now it will take a very small time oh, now it's running it, it takes some time but make, make sure that I do not generate any kind of fault in this simulation Okay, simulation is done just click on the voltage values all the values have the all the all the phase voltages have the same magnitude and all the phase has the same phase difference right now if i want to generate a fault double click on this and for example say that my fault is one click ok run again simulation is done double click on this here it is my fault is generated in this fault and my relay detect this fault and why this fault is start from this time interval 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 because I make this my system such that it fault will generate a time of 0 0.1 and it will goes up to 0 0.3 after that my fault will become reset because the rest of my amplitude is 0 so that is the fault is generated at 0 0.1 time and its value is 1 and it will end up at the time of uh, oh shit okay here it is okay so this was the system that was my simulation how you will design your work current relay step by step so if you find this video helpful please make sure to subscribe to my channel and 